Mustard gas it is. Thanks for the suggestions, everybody. Welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today, we're talking about the only chemical warfare agent that makes me hungry for hot dogs. Sulfur mustard, more commonly known as mustard gas, is clear and odorless in its pure form. In its weaponized form, it's yellowish brown with a mustard, garlic, or horseradish scent. This all depends on who's weaponizing it and what mix they're using. I hear the French have a tasty horseradish gas with just a dash of misery and torment. Mm, magnifique. Sulfur mustard is usually a gas but can also be deployed as an oily liquid or a solid. It's a chemical warfare agent and, like sarin, it has no other purpose but to cause suffering and death. Mustard gas is a mutagenic and carcinogenic vesicant agent. This means that it causes blistering on contact with your skin or mucous membranes. From there, it also messes up your DNA, causing either immediate cell death or delayed mutations and cancer. On impact, sulfur mustard isn't particularly fatal. In World War I, only 5% of the people who were exposed to it died, and the other 95% loved it. Just kidding. Best case scenario, mustard gas causes blistering of the skin, eye irritation and pain, flu-like symptoms, decreased formation of blood cells in your bone marrow, and an increased chance of lung or respiratory respiratory cancer. Worst case scenario, third degree burns, chronic respiratory disease, permanent blindness, and death. So, you were poisoned by sulfur mustard and now you're dead. What happened, dummy? Mustard gas is a schedule one substance and pretty much banned worldwide. How'd you get a hold of it? Oh yeah almost anywhere. After World War II, nations started actively disposing of their stockpiled mustard gas by throwing it into the sea or sort of kind of burying it, but not really. Most of the Nazi mustard gas was dropped into the Baltic Sea, where fishermen have already found at least 700 chemical weapons, not to mention all the sulfur mustard that just washes up on shore and looks like pieces of amber. The U.S. dumped 64 million pounds of nerve and mustard gas into the oceans on both the east and west coasts. Where exactly did they dump it? No one knows. No big deal. Plus, armies in both World Wars dropped or just plain forgot mustard gas bombs and canisters all over the globe. Weapons are still being found in France, Belgium, and as far away as Australia. Plus, other weird stuff like when an archaeologist in 2002 found a vial of mustard gas in an old military base in San Francisco. The point is, World War I let the genie out of the bottle and that guy isn't going back in again until we're all dead from mustard gas. If this doesn't sound like a dream death to you, maybe give a different poison a try. I hear carbon monoxide poisoning is a real gas. Please subscribe and pass these videos along to your friends because not getting enough views is the only poison strong enough to kill this show.